it's not. Hmm? Well, suddenly something Looks like, like today is not your day. My sword craves blood, and unfortunately for you, it wants yours. What? Yes, you shall have your blood. Be a good boy and calm down. Well, that sword is either an enchanted blade, or one that is possessed by fiends. The latter, probably. <gasps> Time to die, boy. Ooh. Well, he clearly, uh... I think this sword would like to disagree with you. <laughs> so this time we're not fighting a demon, we're fighting... Masterless Samurai. Not only about it, any sort of, uh... Echo through his mind. You must never kill another human. Your powers must be used to destroy demons and demons alone. Bow using the back or dull part of his sword. He cannot use any other weapons or spirit attacks. Dodo will not fight out. Oh, fuck off. Using the back of the sword, attack the enemy's back will cause major damage. Oh, great. Haha. <laughs> 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 so I can't attack it normally. I have to. Continue another time. Or you can get the sword. <sighs> Yaki! I'm gonna go follow that guy. Don't know hey, that stupid stay away from that sword. I gotta become stronger. With a sword like that, nobody make fun of me. I'm gonna get that sword no matter what. That's not a good idea, Doro. It's really not a good idea. Hey, that's him! All right. Yeah, how exactly are you going to steal his sword? Because he doesn't exactly uh, sleep with it. But he probably does sleep with it, actually. Steal the sword. Attack the villain from behind. Knock him unconscious. Steal the sword. Be careful, though. You will counter attack if you attack him from the front. Oh, shit. Attack him in the front, he also jumps ahead. Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, massive sound like my ass. Yeah. Blood. Huh? Yeah, I thought who, so. Who said that? Who? Who's there? Blood. Blood. I must have blood. Huh? Kill. You must kill. No. No. I. I don't want to kill people. I just wanted a sword! Kill! Oh shit. Ah. Yeah, the sword is clearly demon possessed. Where the heck did Dororo go? Telepathy isn't working either. I should check the nearby village. Yeah, he's gonna be waiting up here with a sword, isn't he? Dororo, stop! Whoa, look Dororo, at him. Dororo, what happened? <sighs> I've been possessed. Looks like I've got no other choice. Oh, not non lethal again. Yep, non lethal again. It's gonna have to be non lethal again, isn't it? Shit. Possessed Dororo. Damn it, Doro, snap out of it. Ha! Of course, it goes back in his hands. <laughs> he loves Dororo, the blade. I told you not to get near that sword. I, uh, I'm sorry. You hurt? No, I, I think I'm okay. I'm sorry, Miss. I really am. When I grabbed that sword, a voice kept telling me to kill, kill! Next thing I know, I'm attacking you! I've heard a lot of stories of people getting killed just outside the village. Maybe that sword is the cause of it all. Hmm. The sword's partly to blame, but its owner is just as evil. Yep. He knows the so. sword's power, but he doesn't try to get rid of it. It's almost as if he enjoys being controlled by it. That's horrible. Don't worry, Hyaki here will give him a good beating next time we see him. That's very reassuring. But my big brother will be returning soon. He's a swordsman who was sent to guard the local castle. Impressive! What's his name? Let me guess, that's him. His name is Tanosuke. I'm Misaki. I'm Dororo. The big lug here is Hyaki Maru. <laughs> we both have very unusual names. But I must get going. Take care, Hyaki Maru. As Dororo Dororo likes to call himself the greatest anymore, thief okay, in the right. world. Yaki, we gotta find that guy before he starts killing again. He's gotta be close. We must find him. Yeah, he seems to be obsessed with that. 
Ah, there he is. It's him. Jackie. Tanosuke. Hey. Yeah, I thought so. It's him. Jackie's voice. Tanosuke. You're back. I can't believe you're really back. Misaki. I was just at the temple this morning, praying you'd come home soon. My prayers were answered. I've been back for almost half a year now. Hmm. Huh? I, I thought you went to guard the castle. Yes, I did. And His Majesty personally awarded me with an incredible sword. But I used it to kill hundreds of castle workers. It was all to defend the castle's secrets. But that... Your lord ordered you to do it, right? Yes, but since then, it's felt like the sword has been wielding me instead. The sword constantly craved blood. I became its slave. Yeah, but you didn't fight it. I couldn't return to your side, so I stayed near the village, wandering. And killing people. Look what I've become. But it's all that sword's fault. We need to take it to the shrine. I'm sorry, Misaki. Dragon Brood craves blood again. Ah, that's the name of the sword, Dragon Brood. Misaki! Hmm? Hey! Eat that! Oh! Ugh. Damn! Damn. Those bombs. Not now! Dragon Brood needs more power! Please! Help my brother! <coughs> That sword grows stronger as it drinks more blood. Then we have to stop him. Yeah, he's getting stronger by the minute. You must cut him down. We have found you, Tenosuke. Or should I say, Dragon Brood? Wait! Please, don't kill him! Misaki. Your brother is a good swordsman, and his sword is extremely powerful. He'll kill me if I don't kill him first. No! True. Just drop your sword, Tenosuke. I know once you had a human heart. At some point, perhaps. But Dragon Brood just keeps telling me it needs more blood. And when I satisfy it, I am overcome with such euphoria and pleasure. Mm, I thought so. <laughs> Tenosuke's mind is completely lost. There's no going back. Ah, no more non-lethal. Brilliant. Demon Sword Drangu. Jewel to the death. <laughs> oh wait, I better change the scroll that way. Ooh, what's the strike do? Call down lightning bolts, damage all nearby enemies. Mm, Firestorm's better, I think. Burn! Yeah, I'll deal with that badly. <laughs> he kicked him down, oh shit. Is that all? <laughs> oh, now he's in the fucking... Swampy bitch. Oh shit. Oh 
shit. Well, that's not fair. Fucker. Ha! Cannon of the face, bitch. Come on. Oh, for God's sake, didn't even away again. Yes, he did. Is he? I think Dragon Brood wants to die. Oh no, he wants to die. Whoa! Now he's fighting me at full strength. Aha! <laughs> yeah! Burn, bitch! Come back. There we go. That's the point of collecting all those green things. Photo doors keep dying. <laughs> now I got him. Don't escape, Dragon Brood. Misaki, watch out! Yes, I cut you down. This is my sword. You will have to pry it from my cold fingers if you want it. I don't want the sword. Give me blood. Dragon Brood needs blood. Don't worry, I will feed you soon enough. But I cannot give you his. You shall have mine. Oh shit. This is your last feast. <laughs> Die, fiend. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. The sword. Dragon Brood is dead. Tarasuke. <laughs> Fortunately, I had to come at a price. Oh! Oh! It had my, it had a body part in it, did it? 
What body part, though? Ooh. My spine? Yes, I regained a spine! Flexible pillow of 24 bones supports the body, enhances endurance. Let's see, 2 attack damage, 50 endurance, bloody hell, and maximum hit points gone up. Nice. There you go, I've got a spine. I've got a backbone now. Ah, my back! Oh, it burns! Yucky! I'm, I'm fine. Uh, looks like I... I got my spine back. You'll be all right, Yaki. You're no longer spineless. Murderer! I asked you to help him. Hey, I didn't kill him. The sword That's did. That's not fair, Misaki. Yaki killed that demon sword. If he didn't, it probably would have killed everyone for food. That and, includes you. And Yaki, he, he even tried to get the sword away from him. Don't escape. You're all evil. How could oh, you do God this sake. to my brother? Murder himself. I don't ever want to see you again. Get out of here. I'm sorry things turned out this way for you and your brother. Just like the previous village, I liberate them from the demon, but then because they see me grow back my leg, they tell me to fuck off. Chucky. Despite the fact that I saved their lives. Yeah, you may have saved, your, saved our lives, but uh, fuck Yakimaru off. Yakimaru was unable to save the girl's brother from the clutches of the fiends. Yet he was able to regain a precious body part. Everywhere he turned, there was both happiness and sorrow. Hope and despair. He began to doubt whether or not the world could truly ever know peace. Yakimaru clears his mind of lingering doubts and continues on. He must continue to fight. Hmm.